Okay, hi guys. Um, today I'm just gonna make a very brief video on brush quality and the amount of paint on your brush. Now, the topic seems very basic, very common knowledge that everyone should know. But in reality, it is something that, you know, to me at least, who had absolutely no background in painting or using paints, a very hard thing to grip. When you go online and you go to forums, you can see a lot of people talking about techniques, dye brushing, um, highlighting, layering, and etc. But when you come back to the basics and you ask yourself, how much paint do I need on my brush? That information is not out there. So hopefully you guys can learn a lot today with this video. What I learned through experiment and just noticing things is that when you put 100% paint on your brush, meaning from top to end, that is your worst thing that can happen. But when you put your put only 10 to 20 percent of paint on your brush that's the best thing this is why just imagine that you have a really 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 sharp pencil and a very 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 dull pencil you're trying to color something on a piece of paper just imagine you know the old classic fill in the numbers with colors the sharp one will be better at going at the around the edges of the of the sections because you can actually focus or control the color to go the way you want it to not go out of the line and for the dull one it's better for just you know for slapping on the color in large surfaces that you don't need a lot of detail when you think about it these miniatures that we paint on average are 28 millimeters to 30 millimeters pretty small so when you have a sharp brush like this it's easier to paint and especially when you have only 10 to 20 percent of paint on the brush it's like having a sharp pencil this video was helpful and educational for you you know beginners like 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 me if you have any further questions comments you can post a video response post a comment or send me a private message if you want any other topics to be discussed you can actually also make a suggestion so hopefully you enjoyed this video and see you next time